Hi Leo, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your weekly tarot messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. It is a general reading, please keep mindful of that. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. Alright guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's coming in for you here, Leo. Okay, there is some, there are some offers and some proposals and some invitations that are coming your way, certainly uh, some romantic, some career-wise. Bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Wands. For a lot of you, there is this strong energy of an ex coming back into the picture. So this week or in the weeks to come, you might most likely might hear from an ex or um, it could be, you know, an ex-girlfriend, boyfriend, an ex-partner, or it could even be like an ex fling that you're far flung right this person comes back this is someone who might have even fallen off your radar someone who reappears um, it could be someone who has ghosted you in the past someone who's uh you know ended things very quickly and abruptly with you but you know what i feel like there's still a connection there okay whoever this person is if it's an ex you might still have lingering feelings for this person it could be unresolved emotions if it's someone that's ghosted you in the past and i feel like there's still uh, an energy of an like a sexual chemistry or um an attraction or even some sort of connection that is present and i suppose that is because the two of you never fully got to explore the connection because you know you guys were sort of you've robbed each other of the opportunity to do so because this person may have ended things very abruptly with you, or maybe you were the one to have ended things with this person. Um, don't be surprised if this person is in a relationship or is attached to someone else, and you know here they are, they're with someone else, but they're thinking about you. Or if it's you, you could be in a relationship with someone else, you um, know, in a commitment with someone else, and then an ex reappears, and t you know, truth be told, you're curious. You're curious. I feel like a lot of you are going to be very receptive to their energy. I see you responding. I see you, even if you think it's innocent, you could tell yourself that. But to me, the energy seemed to indicate that there is still something there, okay? At the end of the day, the, the heart can't help who it falls for or who it has feelings for, okay? It just it can't help it, I guess. So even if you are in a relationship with someone else, um, or seeing someone else here, it feels like whoever this person is that comes out of the blue for you, it just appears very unexpectedly, you still have, you have this connection, you have this chemistry with this person that I don't think has been um, imitated elsewhere. I see some sort of love offer as well. I, I feel like there's something, someone could be asking you out, someone could be taking you out on a date, someone could be making a move on you, an advance on you. Um, again, this this person could be either someone from the past or it could be someone that, you know what, this person could be in a relationship with someone else or could be seeing someone else. But I feel like what's happening here with the Seven of Swords energy is maybe this is someone who will keep that a secret, will, will fail to mention that. So it's not like they're and here's the thing, they're a little sneaky, watch out for this person, because they're a little manipulative, a little conniving, so the way that they will play it off is, it just never came up, they just never mentioned it, that they're seeing someone or in a relationship with you, um, so they'll kind of pass it off like that, or they'll turn around and say to you, well, you never asked, yeah, the audacity, so watch out for this person, they do have this sneaky energy, it does feel like, um, they're very self-serving. It feels like, you know, they've they've got their own agenda. They're out for them. So this person is very attracted to you. And I think you're very attracted to this person. But either they they have plans to get back with the ex. Because the, the devil represents the ex here. Um, or 
they could still be or they could be seeing someone in a relationship with someone but guess what you know you've caught their interest you've caught their eye and I feel like this is someone who's going to make some sort of um, advancements towards you in and even if they like to play it off as innocent look the chemistry is undeniable you know the attraction is there so watch that you don't get hurt um some of you are, i feel like are connecting with someone online and again i just feel like be careful because this is someone who knows all the right things to say with the seven of swords energy someone very sneaky very charming though this is someone who's very i feel like they're very flirtatious very charming um but at the same time i just feel like with this person's energy um there's just something there's some sort of shadowy aspect about them and about their energy that you should watch out for so either you know this is something that is going to be um primarily based it's going to be a connection that's primarily based on a physical attraction and even though you might want it for it to grow and expand to something something else they may not and they might not be upfront and honest with you about their intentions um for the connection um or it could be that this is someone who you know um might have some toxic traits and might bring some toxic traits to the table um, it could be someone who's still very much attached to an ex or has feelings for an ex, okay? And they've never fully resolved those feelings. Um, could also be someone who, you know, indulges in some um, vices, um, some toxic habits, perhaps. For some of you, I'm seeing that there is uh, some sort of opportunity that is coming your way. Now, it has to do with travel. This is something, something that you're very passionate about, and I also think it's something that you've you know what this is something that you've waited on you this is something that you've wanted it's like a wish um a wish or intention that manifested for you and it's something i feel like that you've wanted for so long that you've been trying for this very job or position or you know opportunity for so long and you've been met with rejection and for some time you've kind of given up on it you thought oh well you know it, maybe it's just not meant for you um and a funny thing happened when you kind of stopped putting in the effort and when you stop putting so much pressure on yourself it came to you or is about to come to you with ease so some sort of opportunity is being offered to you um i think this either is either this i feel like there's either in, they have international headquarters um or this is an opportunity that's overseas or you might have to travel for it if not now then in the future it may have a lot of growth and expansion energies attached to it so for example um, they may have a lot of if not now again in the future they may have a lot of um, they may expand in internationally on a global scale or you may end up living abroad due to this opportunity could be in the very near future as well so you, they may offer you some um, could be like a program or a, an apprenticeship or a scholarship of some sort um, but I feel like it might have to do with you traveling. Could be overseas or could be like to a different um, state or even different city, depending, you know, where you live. I think, because I feel like there's some, you know, there's offers and there's opportunities coming your way, but will you take it? Will you accept it? You know, will you accept or will you uh, reject I think be honest you know if you don't feel you know if an opportunity doesn't completely align with you uh, maybe it's not your you know maybe it's not yours you know maybe there's something better out there for you I feel really like lean into your intuition with some of these offers and opportunities that are coming your way especially anything to do with romantic or career wise because I think I feel like you know some of you are going to have both and um, it's going to happen at once, all within close proximity with one another. You know, if you're not in soulful alignment with whomever, whatever this is, it might be best to pass up on this opportunity, okay? And I'm not saying that you aren't, but I think with the Seven of Swords energy, it can represent inner deception. So just be true to yourself. Whatever you decide on, just make sure you're true to yourself and you'll be just fine. Um... 
Also, I feel like you're going to have to make some sort of choice or decision. Again, I'm seeing travel for some of you. It involves, or you might be relocating houses, moving to a different company, moving into a different role. Um, but I feel like I'm seeing a lot of like movement in your energies, physical movement that is. So some of you are going to do some spontaneous traveling. Some of you are going to move very soon as well into a new home, new place of residence. For others of you, this could be moving jobs jobs or locations or your company could be moving to a different location um, considering uh, this moving energy I think you're going to adapt just fine so don't stress yourself about it it's it's actually not going to be as challenging or as stressful as you think you'll adapt just fine um, okay and these are your messages thanks for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing bye